Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you new here for the very first time, my name is TMI and over here y'all, we talk reactions and reviews. What's going on? All right sis, now that I got your attention, I'm gonna need for you girl to consider subscribing to this YouTube channel also, when you do so, sis, scoot right on over and hit the notification bell. So every time I put out a new video, you will be the first one to know it. What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday Eve, or is it Friday Eve? Yeah, Friday Eve. Happy Friday Eve, okay? It's Thursday, y'all. We, we done almost made it. At the end of the week, we doing the Car Chronicles, y'all. I got to go over with my moms real quick. And so I said, what better time to go ahead and talk with my sis and my bros is in this car, child. Okay? You guys, like something real quick before we get started with the video. Um, I want to remind you guys that we are doing the book club. I've gotten, again, you guys, I have gotten an overwhelming response um, to the book club. I'm starting to figure out more ways. I, I might do it, you guys, on Patreon. And again, I'm going to give you guys more details on that. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. But I am, I just want to let you know, sis, that I am working on it. And we are going to do this because I'm really um, passionate about reading. And, and I see that y'all are passionate about reading. So I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. So please stay tuned for more details. Also, I want to remind you, when you don't see me here on YouTube, I most definitely am on my podcast. Um, it's through an app called Anchor, but I'm also on other platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, Radio Talk. I will leave the majority of those links down below. So sis, when I'm not over here talking, you can come to Girl Time Talk Time with TMR. That's the name of my um, podcast on those websites and you can find me over there okay okay all right y'all so it's been a lot going on huh yeah girl it's been a lot going on let me tell y'all this really quick so right before i left the house y'all um i was walking past my living room and i it looked like somebody was in front of my house so i was like hmm, i wasn't expecting anybody so i go to the window and kind of pull the pull the shade back y'all did that malcolm x on my kind of pulled the shade back and um i was like who car is this so you know i'm just sitting there and the car was parked like right in front of my mailbox and i'm sitting up here like y'all don't know this car um my kids weren't at home so it wasn't like somebody they they was waiting on somebody to come get them but y'all it's so much going on in the world your girl was scared to even open the door to inquire like why are you sitting in front of my house y'all because i didn't know you know it, not, you don't know what's going on okay so i just kind of like low-key just sat there for a minute and watched the car but i'm gonna be honest with you it ended up pulling off but that car had about four more minutes sitting in front of my house like that and i was getting ready to dial 911 non-emergency and let them know that there is a suspicious car parked in front of my house like they had about four more minutes sitting in front of that house okay because i was trying to give them the benefit of the doubt i said maybe they got the wrong address needless to say they did end up pulling off and they went up the street a little more. I think that's what it was. They had the wrong address. But child, I was too nervous to even inquire, open up my door because child, I, I didn't know, you know. But it's a shame that you have to, you know, live in fear like that because you don't know what's on people's minds, right? So that's that. That's gonna lead me to my next conversation, you guys. I noticed, you know, on yesterday there was a lot of things that came on social media that was very disturbing to our community um pop smoke um a rapper i believe he's from new york but he was in hollywood the other day and was on social media basically flexing showing gifts that he had received i don't know the name of the store okay i don't remember the name of the store but he was showing gifts that somebody had sent him and unfortunately when he did that he didn't he must have didn't realize that his address his location was on that package and then a, a little bit before that him and his best friend were taking pictures and stuff and it showed the address of the house that they were at so of course 
whoever these people were put two and two together and figured out to come to his location and rob him and end up killing him. So, you know, y'all look. Social media can be a gift and a curse, okay? And a lot of us use it for good and a lot of us use it for evil. You know, social media is now the new GPS tracker. You can you can you can track people's location just by social media. But if y'all notice something, and I'm gonna be real honest with you, when you are, you know, a lot of us go on social media to show things that's going on in our lives. A lot of us don't do it to brag. A lot of us do it because we have family and friends that are not near us, and we're just trying to share things with our family and friends. And but I would encourage you guys, like say for instance, you're taking a trip, right? You're taking a trip and you're filming your trip. I would advise you not to let that footage be out there on social media after you have already returned back home because people are now, you know, you got to understand, people are smart and they're figuring, oh, you on a cruise uh, in Jamaica or the Bahamas? Oh, well, then that mean you not at home. So I'm about to go over to your house or tell my homeboy or, my, or whoever that you you're not at home. Like, you have to be careful. You have to understand that this world is very evil. And a lot of people do not have your best interests at heart. So, you know, when you're showing things like that, try to make sure if you're showing, if you want to show like a travel, you know, a travel photo uh, or some a clip of you at Disney World enjoying yourself and your family, try to remember to put that clip up half after you have already returned back home, okay? You are already at the house. People thinking you gone, but you sitting right at the crib, okay? Like, y'all, you got to be smart when you hear on, on social media. And that's just my personal opinion, okay? Um, so that's very sad, y'all. That, that young man was only 20 years old. Like, 20 years old. Like, it's, it's unfortunate, but y'all, it's the world we live in. It is truly the world we live in. And you can't do nothing about it but live in it you know you try to keep you yourself safe your family safe but sometimes you can do all the preventive measures that you think about and it just doesn't help it it, it doesn't help because evil is evil and sometimes evil will prevail and in, in his situation evil did prevail meaning evil was able to find where he was went into the home that he was at and unfortunately end his life Oh man, so may he rest in peace. Um, my condolences to the family and friends of that young man. I, I didn't know the guy, I didn't listen to his music or anything like that, but based off what I've seen on social media, he was he was loved by a lot of people and his music was getting ready to do big things, okay? So, <clears throat> now also in social media, y'all, we're gonna talk about that young lady um, who went viral here in the last couple of days for doing a video um, about a man that she used to mess around with back in the day and she went to his house for something, had left, went back because she realized she lost, left her cell phone and opened the door on him and he was in there in a compromised position with another man okay so she decided that she was gonna let the city know and, and now the world that <clears throat> this man was having relations with another and unfortunately it can have been the reason why she's not no longer living amongst us you know um, again y'all you know, Indianapolis is my city. So I'm very familiar with the story. It's all over the news here. It's all, you know, a lot of people knew this woman personally. And um, so I've, I've gotten phone calls from people who knew her. And um, I, of course, I didn't know the lady. I didn't know anything about her. But, you know, I guess she felt like she wanted to let people know that these men out here be on some BS and she called herself, you know, trying to blast this man and, and apparently she was trying to extort him too to keep his secrets quiet, but it didn't play out in her favor. Okay? Uh, unfortunately, because she was trying to, you know, tell somebody something about somebody else, 
she ended up losing her life behind it. And now again, the, the investigation is still, you know, developing. That's the rumor on social media because they said once she did that post on Facebook, she ended up being shot several hours after that post was uploaded to Facebook. So people are just assuming that that is the reason we don't know again like i said the case is still developing but it's unfortunate that that happened y'all you got to be careful about the things that you say and do on social media you you got to be careful you cannot just be out here saying or doing anything and acting like nothing can happen to you especially when you are talking about somebody's sexuality you know um Especially in the black community, you know, uh, black men, unless they are already out, they, they, if they're not already out, they're not trying to be out. For whatever reason, they, they, they will let themselves be known when they're ready to be known. And I know that's unfair to women like us because we have to be, you know, a part of that because we don't know what we're dating, who we're dating. But you know, like the old saying goes, you guys, you don't know a person till you live with them. You can date somebody from six months to a year, but just because you dated them from six months to the year, that does not necessarily mean that you know who you're dealing with. A lot of times it takes for you to live with somebody to really know them because now you got them in their natural habitat and you can kind of pick up on people's behaviors and mannerisms when you're living with them, you know? Um, now, I know that, that that's not saying everybody you deal with, you got to go live with them. But, you know, dating y'all is, is, is a gamble. Like, we y'all out here playing straight craps. Because you don't know what you getting ready to get. You, you, you don't know. How, yeah, you don't know. Um, and I know she probably felt like she was doing the right thing because she was trying to make women aware of this man um, that you know she felt like was living a double life but y'all i'm gonna be very honest with you obviously if this is the reason why she lost her life you know it wasn't a good move you know and it's unfortunate now that it's really being talked about and she's not even here anymore this you know it, it wasn't even worth it to go on your facebook page to blast this man most definitely was not worth you losing your life behind Oh man, y'all, I it's the world we live in. It's the world we live in. People get up here and they say and do anything on social media, and you just be sitting here like, wow, did they really? Yeah, they really. People will say and do, you know, and Facebook Live has caught a lot of criminal acts. A lot of stuff has went on on Facebook Live and, and it's continuing, you know? It's it's just continuing. So anyway. Again, for that woman, may she rest in peace. May the killers um, be known and showed and held accountable, brought to justice for what they did. Because although two wrongs do not make a right, that woman did not deserve to lose her life behind that. No, no she definitely didn't deserve that. Okay, y'all. So, I don't know, y'all. I just, I just... It's the world we live in, man. Like this, it's just creepy. It's so, it's so creepy, y'all. Every time I think about it, it's so creepy. Oh my God, man. It's just, sometimes it just makes you feel like, for me, y'all, sometimes I be like, do I really want to be on social media? Cause I don't got time for all that extra. Um. So, okay, for my, for my people who watch um, Jasmine's channel um i saw a video was it yesterday yesterday where she talked about um i think it was a valentine's day video and she said that somebody did get her kids bunk beds and um i guess she said the person who got her the couch is the person that got her the bunk beds for her children and also got her some comforter sets and I just want to know what y'all think about that how do y'all feel about her receiving the bunk beds now me personally I'm gonna tell you what I think it's good to know that we still have good people on this earth that are you know that that are willing to help people it, that's great but are you really is she really a person in need 
Like, is she... Do, would you consider her a person that's destitute, down and out, or a person in need? Um, you, you know, it's kind of hard to say. It just really depends on how you feel in your heart and how you look at situations. Um, she did say that she's going to give back. And hopefully she does because she, Jasmine has... She has received a lot from people and I hope she does find it in her heart to give back. She keeps saying how she don't have any money. And you know what, Jasmine? Nope. You you you're not rich. We we no one is saying that you are filthy rich over there, but obvious, honey, you are maintaining. You have managed to pay your rent every month to stay in your you know your apartment you just moved out of. There are some people out here that can't even manage to do that. Um, to pay their rent every month. But you have managed to pay yours every month. You have managed to pay your utilities every month. There's a lot of people out here that cannot even say they can do that. And they go to work every day. So for you to be able to say that you are able to do those things, you should start saying more that you are blessed. Instead of always saying how your situation is a woe is me situation, baby. You are truly a blessed individual. Okay? Because you're doing a lot more than some people out here that can't even do okay um you know I, like i said you guys i think that's great that a person felt felt it in their heart to help her but at some point you know i just think jasmine needs to start just helping herself um she does she do know like it's been tested and proven that she people will show up and show out for her and that's great you know but as a woman you know and as a mother you know we we, we can all use a helping hand and I, I just feel like Jasmine has received her fair share of helping hands and I think moving forward anything else that she does for you know she needs for her household that she tries to acquire that herself even if she has to go and put it on layaway you know a lot of us i did that y'all a lot of times i use layaway to to get the things that i needed in my home because i might not have had 1500 up front you know to get a, a new living room suit or 2000 or whatever for a new living room suit so uh, you know it has been times where i felt like i wanted a new couch or whatever and i didn't have the money so i just put it on layaway because i had a couch that i could sit on like it was sittable might not have been the cutest couch but I, it served its purpose to let me sit down but i wanted something nicer and newer so i just sacrificed my wants to and and put my stuff on layaway to i you know to, so until I was able to get it out, you know, and I think, you know, she should, you know, I, I don't know, y'all. I just feel like she's taking advantage of the fact that there are people out here that are willing to do for her. And so she feels like anytime there's a situation, instead of her spending her money, she'll just have people spend their money. And you can't necessarily say, oh, because I have a YouTube channel, this is why people are doing for me. And that could be partially it. But at the end of the day, honey, you are... You, you're working. Your YouTube channel is a job. And just like you don't get a pat on the back to come to work every day, I don't feel like she should get a pat on the back to upload a video because it's her job. She said it's her job to upload videos. Uploading videos is how she makes her ends meet. So I don't think she should get a special recognition because she uploads a video. Y'all, that's just my personal opinion. But And don't take this because let me explain something. I'm never a hater. So people, some people might listen to me and think, oh, you hate no Jasmine. No, baby. Trust me. I'm not. I don't need bunk beds. Okay. My kids don't, I don't have kids that need bunk beds. Um, yeah, I, you know, and if I do need some things, then I, I have to figure out a way to get those things done. And I most definitely will figure it out. Like I've done all my adult life, you know, and so, so that it's not that I just don't know. I just want to know what y'all think about it. You know, because I'm sure y'all have thoughts about it. And we'll, we, we will pick up this conversation down below. I will see y'all in the next video. And remember, sub what you love. Y'all be safe out there. Bye-bye.